Hi, David Fry of Fry Guy Productions, and what I'm going to be showing you how to do today is to take your Hoodman loop and make it a quick release attachment to your camera so that you don't have to be bothered using these cine straps or any of the other kind of less than satisfactory options that Hoodman offers for hard mounting the loop to the back of your DSLR camera. What you'll need for this build, aside from a Hoodman loop and your DSLR camera, is a Delkin pop-up shade. By itself, this is a great product that blocks a lot of light from hitting the LCD screen, but we're gonna capitalize on the ability for the flap section to be quickly released away from the base plate section that remains on the camera. So what we're gonna have to do is remove the flaps to glue the loop onto the flap section. You'll wanna start by removing the base plate from the flap section. All you do is slide them to the side of one another and they separate. It's that easy. Then, you're going to want to tape down the inner spring loaded flaps, otherwise they tend to get in the way. Start by removing the main cover flap. A little pull is all it really takes. The spring loaded flaps are attached with slotted hinges. If you look closely you'll see the slots. They come off much more easily. Here's the plate minus the flaps. It'll need some modification before we glue the loop to it, but we'll get to that in a minute. Take your loop and start peeling back the rubber along the edge that makes contact with the LCD screen. This will make for a nice clean area to glue to the plate. I use the back side of a sheet rock knife to peel the rubber back. Just go slow and be careful. Now that you have the inner plastic shell of the loop exposed, you can see how it's going to fit onto the plate. Since I've already done this, I can tell you that the width of the loop isn't the problem. It actually fits perfectly into the plate. However, it's a little bit tall. So on top of modifying the plate, we're also going to have to make some minor modifications to the loop itself. What we're going to do is use the lines produced in casting the loop as reference points. We're going to grind down these longer sides, only down as far as that line that I'm pointing to. We're going to leave these shorter sides intact as that's what's going to fit into the plate itself. We're only going to grind down the longer sides down to the corners. I used a cutting disc and a dremel to do the bulk of the work and then a sanding wheel to do the cleanup. You could use a file or sandpaper as well. We're only cutting down the long sides and we want to try and make them as flat and smooth as possible. The shorter sides are cut to match the contours built into the loop. You can see it there in the picture. Now we have to modify the plate for the loop to fit into properly. What we want to do is remove those plastic hinges that the flap sat in. Again, I used a Dremel and a cutting wheel. If you don't have that, a small file will work. If you don't have a small file, you can use a sharp pocket knife. Just be careful. Now that you've made the necessary modifications to the plate and the loop, you're going to want to test fit everything. Our adage here is measure twice and glue once, because once you glue these together, they're not coming apart. If you need be, go back and make additional modifications until everything fits together the way you want it. Once everything is properly fitted, you're ready to glue it all together. I used a 5 minute set time 2 part epoxy. What I did was apply a liberal coating and use two rubber bands to keep the plate attached to the loop while the glue sets. What you'll want to do is leave this on a piece of wax paper for 24 hours until it's entirely cured. The wax paper peels right off of the glue if it should drip. While you're waiting for the glue to set, you can attach the mounting plate to your LCD screen. Here's the mounting plate attached to my Canon Rebel T2i. What you're going to want to do is make sure that the LCD screen as well as the inner protective screen of the mounting plate are free of fingerprints because once it's on there it's not going to come off easily. Congratulations! You waited 24 hours for the glue to cure.
Now it's time to see if your hard work paid off. Gently attach the loop to the mounting bracket on your LCD screen. Don't force it. If you did everything right, you've just made yourself a loop that attaches and detaches at the snap of a finger for $90. Doesn't that feel awesome? Take a look to see if there's any light leaking in. If there is, don't worry about it. You can get some molding putty from the hobby shop to fill in the gaps. For detailed step-by-step -step instructions on how to do this build, as well as links to the products used in it, click the link from my blog down below in the information section. If you'd like to see more builds like this, subscribe to my channel and leave me a comment with suggestions for future builds. I hope you found this helpful. David Fry, signing out.